Welcome to yet another video from our channel. You might have noticed that we have recently changed the name of our channel from Anything From Anywhere to Knowledge For All. The reason for this change was to directly focus our efforts towards bring you precious pieces of information about various topics to add to your knowledge. As so we have prepared a short video about the articles in English grammar and present to you. We hope that you would like the video and support us by subscribing and following our channel. This way we will be encouraged to make further videos. So we begin with shortly saying that articles in English grammar are words that precede nouns and modify them as specific or unspecific. They are a type of determiners that indicate the grammatical definiteness of a noun or noun phrase. There are three articles in English, a, an, and the. They function as adjectives, but instead of describing nouns, they help the reader or listener understand if the noun is general or specific. Some nouns do not need articles at all. Please do not forget to subscribe and follow our channel as this is the only way our team's hard work would be appreciated. The main question that we will try to answer today is, what are articles in English grammar? Of course we will provide you definition and examples of articles. So take your notebook and pen ready and let's begin. What are articles in English language? Articles are words that identify a noun as being specific or unspecific. Consider the following examples. Example, after the long day, the cup of tea tasted particularly good. By using the article the, we've shown that it was one specific day that was long and one specific cup of tea that tasted good. Another example, after a long day, a cup of tea tastes particularly good. By using the article, we've created a general statement, implying that any cup of tea would taste good after any long day. English has two types of articles, definite and indefinite. Let's discuss them now in more detail. First we talk about the definite article. The definite article is the word the. It limits the meaning of a noun to one particular thing. For example, your friend might ask, are you going to the party this weekend? The definite article tells you that your friend is referring to a specific party that both of you already know about. The definite article can be used with singular, plural, or uncountable nouns. Below are some examples of the definite article, the, used in context. Example 1, please give me the hammer. Example 2, please give me the red hammer, the blue one is too small. Example 3, please give me the nails. Example 4, please give me the large nail, it's the only one strong enough to hold this painting. Example 5, please give me the hammer and the nails. And now the indefinite article. The indefinite article takes two forms. It's the word a uh, when it precedes a word that begins with a consonant. It's the word an when it precedes a word that begins with a vowel which are a, e, i, o, n, u. The indefinite article indicates that a noun refers to a general idea or category of a thing rather than a specific thing. For example, you might ask your friend, should I bring a gift to the party? Your friend will understand that you are not asking about a specific type of gift or a specific item. I am going to bring an apple pie, your friend tells you. Again, the indefinite article indicates that she is not talking about a particular apple pie. Your friend probably doesn't even have any pie yet. The indefinite article appears only with singular nouns. Consider the following examples of indefinite articles used in context. Example 1, please hand me a book that means any book will do. Example 2, Please hand me an autobiography that means any autobiography will do. Exceptions, using a or an. There are a few exceptions to the general rule of using before words that start with consonants and an before words that begin with vowels. The first letter of the word honor, for example, is a consonant, but it's unpronounceable. Despite its spelling, the word honor begins with a vowel sound. Therefore, we use an. 
Consider the example sentence below for an illustration of this concept. It is incorrect to say, my mother is a honest woman. The correct way to say is, my mother is an honest woman. Similarly, when the first letter of a word is a vowel but is pronounced with a consonant sound, use a, as in the sample sentence below. It is incorrect to say, she is a United States Senator. The correct way to say is, she is a United States Senator. This holds true for acronyms and initialisms too, an LCD display, a UK-based company, an HR department, a URL. An article before an adjective. Sometimes an article modifies a noun that is also modified by an adjective. The usual word order is article plus adjective plus noun. If the article is indefinite, use a or an based on the word that immediately follows it. Consider the following examples for reference. Example, Eliza will bring a small gift to Sophie's party. Example, I heard an interesting story yesterday. Indefinite articles with uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are nouns that are impossible to count, whether because they name intangible concepts, e.g., information, animal husbandry, wealth, collections of things that are considered as wholes, e.g., jewelry, equipment, the working class, or homogeneous physical substances, e.g., milk, sand, air. Although most of these nouns are singular in form, because they refer to things that can't be isolated and counted, they never take a or an. Uncountable nouns can be modified by indefinite adjectives like some, however. Consider the examples below for reference. It is incorrect to say, please give me a water. Water is an uncountable noun and should not be used with the indefinite article. The correct way to say is, please give me some water. If you describe the water in terms of a countable unit, like a bottle, you can use the indefinite article to modify the unit. The correct way to say is, please give me a bottle of water. It is incorrect to say, please give me an ice. The correct way to say is, please give me an ice cube. The correct way to say is, please give me some ice. Note that depending on the context, some nouns can be countable or uncountable, e.g., hair, noise, time, colon. The correct way to say is, we need a light in this room. The correct way to say is, we need some light in this room. Using articles with pronouns. Possessive pronouns, words like his, my, our, its, her, and their, can help identify whether you're talking about specific or nonspecific items. As we've seen, articles also indicate specificity. But if you use both a possessive pronoun and an article together, readers will become confused. Articles should not be used with pronouns. Consider the examples below. It is incorrect to say, why are you reading the my book? The and my should not be used together, as they are both identifying the same noun. Instead, choose one or the other depending on the intended meaning. The correct way to say is, why are you reading the book? The correct way to say is, why are you reading my book? Omission of articles. Occasionally, articles are omitted altogether before certain nouns. In these cases, the article is implied but not actually present. This implied article is sometimes called a zero article. Often, the article is omitted before a noun that refers to an abstract idea. Look at the following examples. It is incorrect to say, let's go out for a dinner tonight. The correct way to say is, let's go out for dinner tonight. It is incorrect to say, the creativity is a valuable quality in children. The correct way to say is, creativity is a valuable quality in children. Tip. The words for many languages and nationalities are not preceded by an article. It is incorrect to say, I studied the French in high school for four years. While the correct way to say is, I studied French in high school for four years. Tip, sports and academic subjects do not require articles. It is incorrect to say, 
I like to play the baseball. The correct way to say is, I like to play baseball. It is incorrect to say, my sister was always good at the math. And the correct way to say is, my sister was always good at math, frequently asked questions about articles. 1. What is an article? An article is a word that comes before a noun to show whether it's specific or general. Specific nouns use the article the and general nouns use the article a, or an, if the next word starts with a vowel sound. 2. What are definite and indefinite articles? The definite article refers to something specific, and the indefinite article refers to something general. The is the definite article and a slash and is the indefinite article. 3. What is an example of an article in grammar? The hammer refers to only one hammer, but a hammer refers to any hammer. 4. When should we not use articles? We don't use the indefinite article with uncountable nouns, or any article with a possessive pronoun. Certain nouns such as nationalities, school subjects, and sports often don't take articles, especially when they refer to general or abstract ideas. I hope that you have found this video useful. Kindly do not forget to subscribe and follow our channel. You can also share this video with your friends who just like you are eager to learn English and struggle with properly using articles in their daily speaking or even writing. Thank you and see you with another video.